Well, this was a lot to take. Two consecutive losses at Old Trafford with three goals scored. We've lost uh, five of our last eight matches at home. Yeah, ne? In all competitions, by the way. So that means we've just been totally been shit all bloody season. And I have nothing further to say. I, I can't keep pointing fingers at Mason Mount. I can't keep point. I can't keep saying Bruno came on and did absolutely nothing. Rashford came on and did nothing. Amrabat came on and we looked a bit decent for a few first half. And then he really slipped up. I don't know what he was trying to do. And we conceded that third goal and went back to being shit again. When we came back from the dressing room. We looked like we were a team. We, the manager said something. Something of some sort of uh, pride. Anything. And then we came back. And went back to being rubbish again. We did the same shit we were doing in the first half. And we got punished. Newcastle played better football than we will ever do. They seem like a well drilled team. Well trained. Well managed. Tactics. Everything is just for wishing. The question now be becomes. Is Tenag getting the sack? Personally I don't think he should get the sack. But he might get the sack. He actually might get the sack. Now we were the defending champion of the Carabao Cup. People say fuck the Carabao Cup. No one gives a shit. But we had a better pathway of winning this thing defending champions and we can't even beat newcastle they outplayed us now granted all their goals are like fast transitional football counter-attack some type of vibe. no deadly passes no deadly crosses nothing just a roundabout passes back side passes back side passes back side passes no forward passes no killer balls no 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 brilliant through balls none of that and Anana's getting scored for fun and on this game on this game dude barely saved anything because dude barely had shots at him only time Newcastle short like did a decent shot they put it behind the net that's it i have maybe two three chances that that, that will even a blind person would save those so he did save those but in terms of the goals it's someone's mistake that lot was struggling on that right hand side defensively he was and then one basaka came on and then for the first few minutes it seemed like something grand was gonna happen and then it all hit the fan went back to being shit again so <laughs> yay yeah that's a positive i guess went back to being shit again and we were shit again there isn't really a thing i could say about this it's just sad very sad that we get to watch this week in and week out we play fulham on the weekend i don't know how we're gonna survive but it's gonna be tough it's gotten to a point where i'm no longer mad i'm just disappointed and i'm disappointed almost every week so yeah welcome to the new normal manchester united the shit and this is just us who we are a shit club with shit supporters and shit management and shit owners and shit players just shitty shitty shit 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 and top of shit i'm out of here man there isn't even a point of yelling at the camera when you're all alone there isn't so it's been fun it's not been fun it's been horrible watching 90 minutes wasted i could have done way other things and i wasted watching that so it was it's fucking i'm sorry for cursing it's cold i could have been in my blanket sleeping look at the time good good night folks good morning good afternoon whatever not even in the mood